Okay, now let, let us look at this question. Figure 10.6 shows a displacement y against distance x graph after time t for the progressive wave. Okay, which propagates to the left, left, uh, with a speed of 20, speed of wave speed of 20 centimeter per second. Determine the wave number and then write an expression means equation of displacement against this uh, position and time for the wave above. Okay, good. So uh, to begin this, uh, first of all, what what uh, we must know what what graph is this? Is it a velocity graph or displacement graph? Uh, this is a displacement against distance graph. Uh, so be careful. This is a y versus x graph. Uh, y versus x graph. All right, this is a y versus x graph. Okay, be careful with the unit. Uh, the unit given the displacement is centimeter. This one position also centimeter. Ah, uh, so be careful. Uh, centi centimeter, centimeter. Uh, so uh, progressive wave which propagates. Okay. This is a displacement against distance graph. Yeah, distance, not time. Huh? It's distance, dis displacement against distance graph. Uh, so, uh, which propagates to the left uh, with a speed of uh, 20 cm per second? So, uh, it propagates to the, the wave is moving to the left, uh, going to the left. So, this one tells us about the positive and negative kx. So is this positive or negative kx? Is it positive kx or negative kx? Wave move to the left means positive kx. Uh, wave move to the left means uh, positive kx. Yeah. Uh, so this one is positive kx because wave move to the left. Uh, positive kx. And then with a speed of 20 centimeter per second. So be careful with this unit also. Centimeter also. Uh, centimeter per second. So this is the wave speed. This is the speed of what? He's saying this is the speed of the wave. Uh, yeah, the wave, the wave speed, the wave speed. This is not particle speed. This is not speed of the particle. It's not speed of the particle vibrational velocity. It's the wave speed. Uh, wave speed. This is the. This actually uh, wave. Speed, uh, which is equal wait, v equal to f lambda, uh, yeah. The wave speed if v equal to f lambda is constant. Uh, okay, uh, we already have that. Seems that all the unit is in centimeter. Uh, if that case, I just because it's not like previous example. Previous example, you have a mixture. You have mixture of uh, centimeter and meter. Uh, if you have a mixture like this, centimeter and meter, the best is you just change all to SI unit meter. Change all to meter, 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 meter. Uh, then you will have, you will uh, not, don't do any mistake. You have a mixture of centimeter and meter, you just change all to SI unit. But if this case, like this one, all, all they are same unit, centimeter, 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 I think it's not necessary to change to SI unit. You just maintain as centimeter. All the while, just use centimeter. Okay, from beginning to the end. From beginning to the end, you just use centimeter. Uh, to make your work simple, to make your work simple, you, get, you can just maintain all in centimeter. Uh, yeah, the, the, the displacement is centimeter, the speed is centimeter per second. Uh, yeah, can maintain all in centimeter. Okay, now I want to find the what? I want to find a wave number. I want to find a wave number. Question, question A. Up, oh, sorry. Change. Okay, question A. I want to find the wave number. This is the. This is actually the k. I want to find the k value. Okay, wave number. Okay, what graph is this? First of all, what graph is this? Uh, y versus x graph. Y versus X graph can help you to find the wavelength, the, the X, this is X. So this one is considered one wavelength. Uh, this one considered uh, from here up to here, this is considered one wavelength. Uh, one wavelength. And then, uh, okay, and then up to here, 
uh, two wavelength already. Uh, yeah, this is one. This is one wavelength. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, from here, yeah. Sorry, from here to here, this is a uh, one wavelength. So from here up to here, uh, also one wavelength. Uh, also one wavelength. Uh, or, or you want to check that from here to here, this is also considered as uh, one wavelength. Lah. Uh, yeah? Or from here to here, this is also one. This is also considered one wavelength. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, Y versus X graph can help you to find wavelength. Uh, like I, I said before. Like I said before, you need to know what graph is this. Okay. If y versus distance graph, y versus distance, y versus distance graph, uh, y versus x graph, y versus x graph, you find wavelength. If y versus time graph, y versus time graph, you find period. Uh, the the x axis give you the period. If y versus x graph, the x axis give you the wavelength lambda. If y versus time graph, the X axis give you the period. Uh, so be careful. So this is a Y versus S graph. The X axis give you the wavelength. Uh, okay. So just want to wrap off all the rest here. All right. Uh, so up. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Just wrap off all this. Okay. So uh, this is considered one wavelength. Uh, this is the value of two wavelength. Okay. Uh, so one wavelength is two cm centimeter. Two wavelength is four centimeter. Uh, okay. So uh, okay. Uh, so from there I can find my lambda. Uh, no, I can find my wave number. So actually, what is actually my uh, formula for k? K wave number is uh, two pi over wavelength. Ah, uh, two pi over wavelength. I I found my wavelength is uh from the graph. One wavelength is uh two centimeter. Ah, uh, be careful with the unit, not meter. It's all the while centimeter, centimeter, centimeter per second. So all centimeter. Okay. So uh divide. So two pi divide by. You write the unit now. Uh, if not SI unit, you must write the unit. Ah, uh, if not SI unit, you must write the unit. Uh, if SI unit, you no need to write unit because it's understood in meter. But if non SI unit, you must write down the unit when you substitute the value. Okay, I just want to write this down. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, if non SI unit, you must write the unit when substitute value. Ah, uh, you must write the unit together. Okay. Don't just write two. Ah, uh. don't just write two. You must write two cm. Ah, uh, you must write two cm. You must write the unit together. When substitute value, uh, if especially if none SI unit, okay, uh, you must because uh, if you don't write the unit together, then we will deduct mark, okay. If none SI unit, if we just write two value of two, uh, you will lost mark lah, okay. That is what I mean, okay. So uh, divided, uh, I get it is pi, uh, pi per centimeter, uh, pi per centimeter. Uh, or you can write as radian per centimeter. Uh, okay. And uh, the, the answer of K is pi per centimeter. Uh, so is that correct? The wave number is pi per centimeter. That's correct. You see the unit per centimeter. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Not per meter. Uh. Not per meter. Uh. Check the unit. Uh. Oh, in centimeter. Uh. Centimeter. So this one... Wavelength also in per centimeter. That's why you must substitute the non SI unit so that you won't get wrong. Uh, the, the, the unit of K, you also uh, make sure it is correct. Okay? If you substitute the unit together. Okay, good. Now, uh, B, write the expression. So, what is mean by expression? Equation. I want you to write equation. For what? Uh, equation for displacement against x and t uh, displacement against x and t so i want you to write equation for y and t that means an equations that has uh, displacement in a function of position and time uh, which is this equation uh, 
uh, this general equation uh, y equal to a sine omega t plus minus kx uh, this is actually what formula uh, this is actually uh, y in the function of x against uh, in the function of x and time okay uh, this equation is the equation of y in the in the function of x and time uh, sorry in the x and time uh, yeah uh, or you want to write at time and x <laughs> okay okay so write this equation so this is the my okay write this general formula y equal to a sine omega t plus minus kx okay write that down okay so question b uh, y in the function of x and time it is uh, a sine omega t plus minus kx okay so next is you substitute all the a omega and k so what uh, what do we have we have do we have the a ah uh, what is the a uh, this is the a uh, this is the a amplitude uh, unit is centimeter be careful this is centimeter amplitude is centimeter this uh, just now the wavelength also in centimeter centimeter okay or check the unit of the axis uh, so this is a is uh, six centimeter okay uh, six centimeter so my a is uh, six centimeter okay write that down yeah uh okay I, okay i i got the a is six centimeter just right beside there just right beside first my a is uh six centimeter okay and then what else do we have uh what else do we have uh do we have the k yes we have the k already in unit per cm omega we don't have omega yet now uh, you just might need to find out all this value what is the a what is the omega what is the k Finally, also you need to know uh, what is the what is the uh, what is this symbol? Uh, is it plus kx or minus kx? Refer to the direction. Okay. Right now, I already have a. I already have k. I don't have the omega. So where to find the omega? Uh, what is the formula for omega? Omega is uh, two pi what two pi f uh, or two pi over period. Omega also 2 pi over period. Uh, but uh, how to find the mean the frequency? Ah, we have the speed wave speed. Wave speed is f lambda. So here for you can find the f. You can find the f. Uh, so now okay, let's find out the f. Um uh, okay, we have the wave speed. Wave speed is uh, what is the value of wave speed? 20 cm per second 20 centimeter per second and the waste uh, this is actually the formula f lambda uh, this is f lambda f lambda equal to 20 centimeter per second uh, so from here i can find my you know i can find my uh, frequency i can find my frequency isn't it uh, wavelength I have yes wavelength I already have 2 cm wavelength is 2 cm uh, wavelength is wavelength is 2 cm uh, so substitute my okay my wavelength with 2 centimeter equal to 20 centimeter per second uh, okay uh, you must write the unit if none SI unit you must write the none SI unit so that Huh? you won't have a uh, line one meter and one centimeter you you will tally up the unit uh, then you can compare that your unit they are tally they are tally you understand not tally you know tally uh, the the unit they are tally you don't have a mixture of si unit and non-si unit uh, they are tally unit okay so from here i can uh, cancel uh, centimeter and centimeter cancel so uh second uh you know uh, uh this cancel this one you get 10 okay divide you get 10 uh, so what's the frequency so the frequency is so the frequency is uh 10 per second or you can write as 
10 hertz. Ah, okay. 10 per second or 10 hertz. So from there, I can get my omega. So from omega is 2 pi f, 2 pi times 10. Ah, 2 pi times 10. So my omega is equal to 20 pi. Ah, 20 pi. Uh, which is a radian per second, or you want to write as per second only, also can. Understand? Uh, so, I get 20 pi. Uh, so, I got my omega also. Now, it's time to substitute all the value to get my final equation for my uh, uh, expression for displacement. Okay? So, my a is just now my a is six centimeter so i just put at six i just put at six okay y against x and time six sine uh and then omega omega is 20 pi uh t and then this wave is moving to the right or moving to the left wave is moving to the left to the left is positive kx positive kx so Remember, this is positive, not negative. Wave move to the left. So, it's positive kx. Positive, what is your k again? Your k value is pi. Uh, pi per cm. Uh, so, pi x. Okay, uh, so that's it. Uh, k is pi x. So, and then, not just give the equation, you must give the unit also. You must give the unit also like, Huh? Just now the write the wave equation, you give the you give the uh, equation, you must also give the uh, equation. Understand? Uh, you must give the equation, you must also give the unit. Uh, so what is the unit for this one? What is the unit? Yeah? Uh, let me write it down first. Uh, not necessarily this value, but okay. So look at here. Just now we all all of us use centimeter centimeter so centimeter centimeter isn't it uh, so that means my y my y is in centimeter my y is in centimeter my x my x also in centimeter you see that my x also in centimeter ah okay my x also in centimeter my k my k is in per second uh, per, per centimeter uh, my second is per centimeter my amplitude, my amplitude is centimeter. You see that? My amplitude, my amplitude is in per centimeter. Uh, per, uh, it, no, my amplitude is centimeter. See that? Uh, and then my time, my time is in, uh, my time is, what, what is my time? My time is second. You see that? The, the speed of wave. Second, uh, second. So my omega, my omega also per second. Uh, oh, per second. Ah, see that? So they can cancel the unit. You see that? They can cancel the unit, the displacement, uh, uh, and then the x, uh, and then the time also. Okay, but we don't cancel, uh, of course, we don't cancel. Uh, just want to show you. So uh, our x and y, you must write that. Our x and y in, in what? In centimeter. Our x and y in centimeter, and then time is in. Uh, second, uh, that's the way you must write the unit. You must write the unit centimeter and second. Uh, both x and y are in centimeter. Both x and y, both of them are in centimeter and time in second. You must write the unit. Okay, is that correct? Let's check the answer. Y is 6 sine 20 pi t, 6 sine 20 pi t, plus, plus pi x, plus pi x. Yes, that's correct. Uh, cm. Cm means, cm here means the displacement is in centimeter. Uh, it, what, it means what it is. Okay, or in centimeter. Ah, uh, that, that's correct. Your answer is correct. Your answer is correct. Okay, so that's how we do the equations. The expression, okay, that's what you mean by expression means equation, I uh, means this equation, okay. So that's so that's all for this question. Okay, see you. Bye.